Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the night. Thanks for filling this up, everyone. 2020 Gold Rush Autograph uh, Full Size Baseball Helmets. Four box, random player break number four. That's a full case right over here. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. One spot gets you two, so let's double you up. One spot gets you two. Let's double you up. And there's all the players right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Come on, 11 times. I don't got time for 11. One. Keyboard. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And 11. The final. Yeah, it's too easy. Yeah, Todd's right. It's too easy with the with the. If this was baseballs, maybe. All right, so after 11, we've got Nick down to Logan. Cover up. No one got time for that. 11 times for the players. Nine, ten, and eleven. After eleven times, Jim Edmonds, Mike Piazza. Yeah, that's easier. I just I can just read stuff off of Wikipedia instead of like covering up the logo and and just being like, oh, let's cover this up and show this part right here. Come on, man. Ain't no one got time for that. All right. Got time for who am I, though. That's America's favorite game. All right, there you go. There's all your players right here. I'm, I'm just going to show you the list as is. And then I'll alphabetize by your first names. So, Brian, there are your players right there. Gary, John, Joe P, Josh X-Line, Logan, Matt, Michael, Nick, Bobby Lenny, Rasuke, Stephen K, and Todd. All right, so I'm going to pause my video really quick. When we come back, we're going to see, uh, I don't think there's going to be any trades, but we'll kind of, I want to let people be able to digest the players that they have and be like, all right, I got this guy. This is what I can cross my fingers for. I'll be right back. And we're back. All right, so there are no trades. I think everyone got a good feel, feel for their players. Let's start popping these open. Let's see what we got. Because you have different answers, now better chance that you're going to get an extra thousand dollars in your bank. Get that in mind. Is this the right case? Okay, let's start here. Yeah, there we go. You touched. Number one, you touched the one. It's the right one. So what would be a Michael gift box? You touched Michael gift box. Oh, yeah, because it's Michael gift box. My knife bit me. Did you see guys see that? Gift box is Michael's gift box. Bit me. All I do is treat you with love and care. Sometimes you gotta watch out. My old friend. All right. All right. Lightning round. Lightning round. Who am I? All right. I played for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams my entire career. Five-time All-Star, Silver Slugger, award winner, and AL Comeback Player of the Year winner uh, toward the end of my career. Uh, maybe right in the middle of my career. Roberto Clemente Award winner, NL Home Run Leader, member of the Hall of Fame, first ballot Hall of Fame with 80 9.8% of the vote. I had a lifetime 276 batting average, 2,328 hits, 1,699 runs batted in, and I had 612 home runs. Who am I? There's the uh, Beckett sticker right there. Yep, Cody Chapman's got it. Cleveland Indians helmet, Jim Tomei. Welcome to Idiot Test. Tonight we have 
Nice autograph on there. Wish the helmets were a little bit more of a higher quality. There's, but still really nice. I like the concept a lot. So the Beckett card in there, Beckett sticker on the back right there. This is pretty nice. Jim Tome, who's got Jim? That'll be Stephen K. There you go, Stephen K. with the Jim Tome. See, my knife bit me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, next one. Yes, there can be authentic ones in here, though, which is which would be really, which would be really fun. All right, who am I? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't don't do it. Don't do it. Because when you turn it upside down, it's right there. It's clotting. It's clotting pretty pretty quickly. Come on, internet. Say no, and the button on bottom that says no actually says on. So no, you did not get the question wrong. Two hundred bucks in your bank. Alright. I've got a lifetime I've got a lifetime two fifty eight batting average. 20 home runs, 79 RBIs, and 31 stolen bases in my uh, in my career, my young career. Who am I? Who could I be with all that information? What young player has all that? This maybe Wikipedia ran out of money. Not Tatis, Cody and John, not Vladimir Guerrero Jr., not not Trevor Hoffman, Todd Father. Let's see. Uh, last year, in 2019, I was the fifth overall best prospect in all of baseball, and I was the team one. I've got, if you, if you know your scouting grades, I've got uh, about a 60 hit. 45 to 50 game power, 50 raw power, speed. I'm a 70 speed, 70 fielding, 70 throwing. He's a pretty quick dude. Play center field for this team that just won the World Series last year. And I think he should have a relatively bright future ahead of him. You were on the right track, Cody. But it was the, yep, Victor Robles. There you go. It's pretty awesome. This one's got ear flaps and everything too. This is this one's pretty cool. There's the Beckett right there. Make sure I'm not touching his autograph. There you go. There you go. You got some MLB Authentic right here. It's pretty nice. So there you go. That's pretty cool. You got the Rawling sticker in there as well. That's pretty nice. Victor Robles. Who has Victor Robles? That will be for John Deneen. Nice, John. Okay, 
120 on your money meter. You touch the woman, suck it from the right. The one on the left, skate away the great. Skate away the high. The next woman, skate away two. Two more to go. All right, who am I? I am a retired baseball player. I'm a Hall of Famer, was a Rookie of the Year, 11-time All-Star, Gold Glover, three-time Silver Slugger, played for only two teams my entire career. Lifetime 376 home runs, lifetime 269, and 2,356 hits. Played 13 seasons with this team. And 11 seasons with another team. Played a long time. Played until I was 45 years old, until 1993. And, um... Let's see, what else? I don't know. I'm a catcher. That, that should start to give it away. It's pretty good. Did you? Did I not win any? I guess after the rookie, I thought he won an MVP, but got in with 79.6% of the vote. I think maybe second ballot, but could hit a little bit. Defensively, really great too. Started my career with uh, one sock team and ended my career with another sock team. That should give it away. What, let's see what helmet it's going to be, though. Which sock team? See, I associate him with this particular sock. Yep, Carlton Fisk, John and Cody. There you go, there's the JS. I always associate him with the Red Sox, but he played for the White Sox a couple years longer. But both Sox can claim him. Carlton Fisk goes to Bobby. Bobby with the Carlton Fisk. Nice. Tag that Robert right there. And the final one. Good luck. All right, who am I? I was a I'm a retired player. Played for 24 years. 24 years. I was a rookie of the year, an MVP, a 17-time All-Star, won 3 World Series, ziz. 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 Two-time Gold Glover, a Silver Slugger, a World Series MVP, 3-time batting title. Won the MVP in my early 30s. And won a chip with two teams. And then another one with another team when I was, uh, when I was 39. Lifetime 303 batting average. 160 home runs lifetime. 1,300, a little over 1,300 RBIs in my career, 198 home runs. Oh, and I have 4,256 hits. 
Regardless of all that, it just says it should be in the Hall of Fame. Harry. I know. That's I said. That's what I was forgetting. They got Dish Goose. It's not Harry Geese. And I think played for only two teams my entire career. Okay, that's not here. No, he played. He played a little bit with. Uh, he played. He was with Montreal for half a second, and then went back to Cincinnati. He was with Philadelphia in '83, and I guess started the '84 season with the Expos. But then halfway through, I guess I was traded back to Cincinnati and spent a couple more seasons there. Yep, Cody, Andy. Pete Rose in his Reds hit King inscription nice he's got a great auto too good penmanship there from old Pete there's all the Beckett stuff right this is the kind of helmet they wore back in the 70s there you go besties with Johnny Bench and there you have it and uh, that's the last helmet, Pete Rose. You go to Brian S. Thanks, Brian, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for giving this a shot. I think we have some more. So keep an eye out for more, and we'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.